What's up everybody? Welcome back. Welcome back to Wham Fishing. Guys, if it looks a little bit brighter on there, maybe it's because I have a new GoPro. <laughs> we have the new GoPro Th Go GoPro Hero 13 going. You know, I was having so many issues with all the other GoPros that we've upgraded to the 13 and I can see myself. I can see myself in the front screen because this one's not burned out or anything. So I've tested it before. I actually took it to Lake Norman last week. Recorded all day, it was awesome. The colors looked amazing. Didn't record a second of sound. There was zero sound on the entire thing. So I had to scrap that whole thing. I mean, the, the colors and the picture and everything looked amazing on it. So hopefully today is gonna turn out pretty, pretty, pretty well as well. As well. So out here on Harris, you know, we've had a ton of rain. I'll say we're gonna have some more rain today. I see rain off in the distance, hopefully going that way, not coming this way. And this lake is up like four feet. Like it's it's up a lot. I don't remember having this much rain. I know that we had some rain last week and a couple days ago, but I don't remember having like four feet of rain. Like it's it's all the way up in the trees right now. But luckily the fish, you know, I think I hear fish up in there, up in up in the shallow shallow water. So I know there's some fish that have, that have gone straight up there and ran into the trees. But it's still summertime. You know, the water's 82 degrees. And a lot of these fish are still sitting out in their summertime areas. They've just moved up shallower. So if they were sitting out in 12, you know, 12 feet, well, now that 12 feet is 15 feet. So they've moved to like eight or nine because now that's the new, that's the new 12 foot. So I'm out here. We're going to see what all, see what all we can find. So I've caught a couple of them already, but, uh, gosh, fish blowing up everywhere. Like, there's shad everywhere. There's fish blowing up everywhere. I launched. I literally was backing the kayak, backing the kayak down the boat ramp, watching schools of fish blow up, like bass blow up on shad. So, a feeling we're gonna we're gonna catch some good fish today. So as long as that rain holds off, of course, as I as I as I say this, it starts to get a little cloudy and the wind dies. <laughs> The rain, rain is coming in. I can't see over the tree line, but I imagine there's probably some rain off in the distance over there. But we will see what all we can catch, guys. I hope that y'all enjoy this one. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button for me. Bugs are already subscribing. They're coming in for me. But uh, we'll see what all we can catch. All right, y'all. Stay with me. Probably would catch a scope. Feel like a bass. Oh, yeah, they're just fighting weird. It's fighting funny. Fighting funny. That's all. That's all. Gotcha. Hmm. That's all. A little good one. Was a catfish there for a second. That's no catfish. That is no catfish, my friends. You're not a you're not a catfish. <laughs> Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> Y'all are just sitting out on this point, watching the million of the shad swim around, aren't you? Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Good 18, 19 incher. <laughs> Lively 18, 19 incher. Mm. What, are you, what are we thinking? What are we thinking, guys? Survey, survey says, oh yeah, 19, 19 and a quarter, 19 and a quarter, <laughs> all right. Oh, 
Bass. Very good one. I was like, it's got to be. There's a ton of fish right next to me. They don't look very big. They look like a bunch of white perch. This, however, not a white perch. Definitely not a white perch. <laughs> Far from a white perch. Just picked it up and swung it off with it, aren't you? All the way down, all the way down there. Ah. <laughs> How's that for a fish? Let's get a very quick measurement. Good 21, 21. <laughs> there we go. Get all back in the day again. Forever rules the day. Mm. Nice fish are strong. Studly fish, studly fish. <laughs> Fishing a ledge right here, so it drops off. It's not the not the main channel, but it drops off in about 25, 30. And up here, it's you know, eight to ten. <laughs> so it's a good spot for these fish just to roam back and forth and corral shad up against. Maybe not, maybe not 30, maybe 20 to 20, 20 to 25. It's like a 10 foot drop. Just a, just a good spot. Those fish, these fish just group, you just have wolf packs of fish running up and down this, running up and down the ledge.
Wide bait's tough, man. Wide bait is tough. quite as big but Hey, look, a chatterbait fish. <laughs> Goodness gracious, I ripped the freaking rod out of my hand. This fish have some anger issues today. Just threw my trailer off. Yeah. Anger issues today. Just threw my trailer off. Barely hooked. Oh, he was barely hooked. <laughs> there go. Looky there. I actually caught a chatterbait fish. It's actually a good good one. <laughs> All right. Get you back. I gotta see if I have any more trailers for the chatterbait. <laughs> These suckers will eat the freaking shaky head the second it touches the bottom. Absolute deathly terrified of a football jig. No idea why. Pretty sure, pretty certain it's because there's probably a little bit of fishing pressure going on with the football jig. Oh, I say that. Oh, <laughs> I say that as one smokes it. God, these fish are strong today. I don't remember these fish being this strong out here. I have been, been playing at Norman too much, catching all the spots. <laughs> oh. God, no. There's fish blowing up on the shad right there. I've been at Norman catching all the little spotted bass. I'm back out here, catch three and four pounders. Jump. Oh, oh my god, that's a good fish. Oh, that's a good fish. And he's barely got it, too. This is one that I need in a couple weeks at Gunnersville. This is like five, six pounder. As I'm, as I'm lamenting not catching them on the football jig, the biggest one of the day is going to eat the football jig. Come on. <laughs> How about that? Oh, he's barely got it, too. He's just a little skin hook there. Mm, look at that. Oh man, that's a fish. That is a fish. Let's get a let's get a quick measurement on that one. Oh. What are we thinking? I'm thinking that's a 22. That's 
a big one. Hmm. Oh yeah. Twenty-two and a quarter. <laughs> Twenty-two and a quarter. That. <sighs> that is a grown one. <laughs> All right, we'll get you back. Mm. Twenty-two and a quarter. We got. Oh, look at all the shad. God, the shad everywhere. Fish blowing up on shad everywhere. This lake, this lake is going crazy right now with all this extra water in it. It's all right. 22 and a quarter. 21. 19 and change. And then a couple other, a couple other 18, 19s. We're uh, we're on par for a hundred inch day out here today. <laughs> oh, all right. Maybe I will throw the football jig a little bit more. See what all happens. Maybe I've just been throwing the shaky head too much. We'll see. Oh. Hit a fish. Fish hit the jig as I'm swimming it in. <laughs> oh, this place is crazy. This place is crazy. That ball of shad, five times the size of my kayak right there. Let's get us another one of them eight pounders. Get us another one of them eight pounders. Am I the only one out here? <laughs> oh, nope, I see one. Two. Two boats. Three boats. Not bad on Harris, where there's only three boats out here. Tough crowd. Four boats. Alright, there we go. There's a ton of fish right next to me, but I think they're white bass. Whoa. Oh, that first one felt like a big. That first one felt like a big. Because that thing didn't move when I set the hook that first time. That thing did not move when I set the hook that first time. Whee. Did you throw the worm off? Did you throw the worm off? And he threw the hook off into my hand. Those worms are like a dollar. Those worms are like a dollar. It cost me money. <laughs> it's seven dollars for ten that's like 70 70 cents for them worth it worth it i feel like there's a lot of fish down there i feel like there's a lot of fish down there they're just all sucked to the bottom so i'm not really i, I didn't see any on live that's why i put, I put live up because I feel like for fish that are sitting near the bottom and stuff, it's not not all that great, at least for me. I feel like it's a lot better in open water. Open water or deep water. You know, 20, 20 or so. 15, 20 plus, I feel like it works a little bit better for me. Oh. I 
I swear, I threw the football jig through here ten times. And every cast I make with a shaky head gets bit. Every cast with a shaky head, I'm catching fish. Football jig, not so much. Shaky shake, every day. Come here, friend. Every cast with the old shake shake. Getting bit, and they're fat. Every one of these fish is fat. They all have little bellies on them. Feeding up for the winter time. Three, three for three, three casts. Let's see if we can do three, three for three here. I feel like there's enough fish down there. Football jig, no. Shaky head, every cast. Wild. Chatterbait through there. Caught the one. It's interesting. Interesting. These fish can more than eat a football jig. They are not tiny, tiny. Tiny, tiny. You can eat a football jig. Yes, yes, you. Yes, you. All right, he's kind of on the tinier side, but kind of on the tinier side. Well, there we go. Still a little belly. A little belly. All right, y'all, I believe I'm about to call it here. So I do have a little bit of rain coming in, possibly coming in. There's there's this rainstorm like yeah, right here. This rainstorm right here is coming this direction and I've been watching rainstorms go by me all day today. So this one right here, high clouds and all that, you can see that high, it's all the way up. Like oh, super, super high clouds usually mean this, there's gonna be some lightning and stuff like that with it and it looks like it's coming this direction so I'm gonna go ahead and kind of start making my way back over towards the boat ramp there there is a uh, there is a spot right in front of the boat ramp I'm gonna stop at and just make a couple casts at before I truly get out of here but I mean overall awesome day I was like got oh, 22 and a quarter 20 21 21 quarter 20 I don't know caught 22 and a quarter was a big fish so that, that, that just makes an awesome day in and of itself uh, everything was like offshore so even though this water has come up you can see this uh, right here Y'all can see that all the way through all of that right there. This is normally dry land. This is all dry land right here. <laughs> this right here is all this grass is normally sitting on dry land or in you know inches inches of water and it's it's uh, in a couple feet right now. So have had quite a bit of rain come in. About to drift up on the bank. One second. Had quite a bit of rain come in. Even though we've had this rain, these fish are still offshore. You know it's still late summer. I'll consider it late summer. Water temperature is 83 degrees, so I'll say these fish are still not pushed up super, super shallow. If it had gone down to like 73, then maybe you'd start seeing fish up, up shallow. But right now, the, the water mosquitoes are coming out. <laughs> right, right now, a lot of these fish are still in that offshore stuff, so I was catching them, you know, 8 to 12 feet of water. I was throwing a shaky head for the most part. I caught fish on chatterbait today. Justin. I caught fish on chatterbait so <laughs> caught fish on chatterbait football jig big fish came on a football jig uh, most of the fish came on shaky head i still have yet to catch one on top water they're blowing up top water everywhere i think there's just so much shad that they're not they're not schooling top water it's just like one or two will blow up and then one or two will blow up and then one will blow up over here it's not 15 20 fish all attacking a ball of shad or anything like that there's just so much shad in the water right now it's I, I don't I don't I don't think that my bait's getting you know the attention it, it the attention that it needs they're blowing up on shad right over there right now like <laughs> so 
Uh, other than that, awesome day. Uh, I was not expecting any of that. I just kind of wanted to come out here. I haven't been out here in a couple months, month, month, month and a half, two months. I've been at, been at Norman. So just wanted to check on, check on these fish out here. Looks like they still remember who I am. So, <laughs> oh, and that. See, this is this is just why it's wild to me looking looking at the looking up up there and just seeing all that water water everywhere. We got another hurricane coming in. Helen Helene, however you're saying it, is uh, it's supposed to come through tomorrow night. So we're gonna get even more rain on top of all this. So this is before the hurricane. It's it's flooded. So after the hurricane, it's going to be like way, way high. But uh, I'll see what all happens with that. I think the next, I'm going to keep, keep going back to Norman. I'm going to keep trying to go back to Norman if I can. But I might run it, run out here for a little bit, depending on weather, weather dependent. But uh, other than that, you know, y'all, thank you all for watching. I appreciate everybody. And uh, shad, shad everywhere. <laughs> I'll see you all in the next one.